Now to St. Louis and the jail uprising that lasted for hours. The stunning images outside the St. Louis Justice Center. 117 inmates involved. A guard attacked. Fire set. And it was the third outbreak like this in weeks. Here's well, you are looking at a scene of the St. Louis City Jail. It was here this morning that there was a fire and disturbance when the inmates broke the windows. A startling sight Saturday morning, windows smashed out at the St. Louis City Jail. Standing in a group looking out at Tucker Boulevard, inmates at the City Justice Center, throwing debris out of the building and setting fires. I received a call at home indicating that we had one detainee who had assaulted uh, one of our correction officers. That then led into, a few minutes later, many other detainees assaulting the same correction officer. In the CJC in our jail, we're set up as a unit with sales, individual sales, or two-person sales inside of the unit. Those sales are supposed to, to lock automatically. Unfortunately, over the years, those, uh, those locking mechanisms have failed. After the assault on the correction officer who was taken to the hospital by ambulance. Incidentally, he's doing fine. I'm really happy to report that. St. Louis City Police, Sheriff and Fire Department personnel on the scene early Saturday morning. It all began around 2.30 a.m. according to police. We just have a lot of very violent, serious offenders at CJC. And uh, it happened at 2.30. We don't know why it happened. There were never ever a demand made. We were able to get in there and to take those folk and move those people to a more secure floor. A total of 117 people were involved. So we had uh, about 65 on the 11th Street side and another group, 55 or so, on the, on the 12th Street uh, side. This is the third disturbance, according to our friends at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, at the Justice Center since December, when inmates first complained about the lack of COVID precautions there. This is the third time that we've had this situation at uh, CJC since December. The first two times, uh, uh, there were many thoughts that they were concerned about COVID. And the last time we did have COVID individuals there, I was very concerned about that. We did remove all COVID uh, people out. So there is no one uh, at uh, CJC with COVID. So this was not an issue with respect to COVID. <laughs> Burning debris fell from the fourth story of the St. Louis Justice Center. 117 inmates caused a disturbance while a crowd cheers below. This was a bunch of folk that were defiant. This was a bunch of people that decided that they were going to engage in criminal mayhem. Officials at the city jail say it started at 2.30 a.m. when an inmate began attacking a correctional officer and other detainees joined in. Uh, in certain units, uh, our, our detainees have the ability to uh, jimmy their locks. City officials tell us the officer escaped, leaving the inmates free to roam around the locked unit. A second unit then also became breached. This, the third incident at the facility since December. There is no idea why they were upset. Obviously, uh, there, were, there were no demands. For more than three hours, the inmates chanted, throwing furniture, clothing, and burning paper out of the window. The public safety director says it was important they stopped the unrest humanely. We understood, I had the fire department here, that what was being lit on fire was paper on top of that building, it was concrete. We knew that we, would, we were not at risk uh, of a fire. Uh, and so it is important to me that uh, irrespective of who they are and what they are, they be treated humanely. Ultimately, we are told tear gas was used and all inmates involved have now been moved to a maximum security unit within the city jail or to MSI, a more secure facility. The city says surveillance video will be used to charge the inmates involved. The officer initially attacked was taken to the hospital and is said to be doing well. No inmates were hurt. Chaos inside this St. Louis jail. Inmates setting objects ablaze and throwing items outside shattered windows. This is at St. Louis City Justice Center, downtown on Tucker. Officials say it all started with a fight overnight. Inmates able to break out of their cells after jimmying the locks. That detainee got into a scuffle uh, with our correction officer uh, who was then jumped by others. Uh, that were detained inside 
uh, one of our units on the fourth floor. They done set their sheets on fire. The smoked scarred windows full of inmates, some holding signs, others raising their fists as daylight broke. Activists say this comes after an ongoing protest against conditions at the jail. Officials say more than 100 inmates were involved in the fourth floor uprising. This was not a situation where there were demands being made by anyone. These were just very angry, defiant, very violent people that we house at the Justice Center. It's a very tense scene out here in downtown, but it's also a surreal sight to see. I'll step out of the way. You can see the inmates. They have broken the windows. They're throwing burning debris out the windows, furniture, and, and people are starting to walk up, some bringing their kids, obviously bringing their, their cameras, getting all of this on footage, cheering them on as furniture comes out of the windows. And this started at 6 a.m. So for two hours now, those inmates have been up there chanting while the people below are, are chanting as well. At the Justice Center, as you said, is downtown right across from City Hall. And we have confirmed that Mayor Lyda Krusen and the city public safety director, Jimmy Edwards, are inside trying to negotiate with these prisoners. Now, this is at least the third disturbance at the Justice Center since December. Right now, there are no reports of any injuries, but there are several police cars on scene, fire trucks, and, and as I said, burning debris is coming from these windows. The, the inmates are throwing out of the windows. And A standoff between police and inmates at the St. Louis City Justice Center is over. Officials say this all started when a corrections officer got into a scuffle with a detainee overnight and then was jumped by other detainees who broke out of their cells. Those inmates then released other inmates and then they started throwing fires and actually throwing objects out of broken windows.